Hello, this is Mark from tradingform.com and welcome to this video on how to use conditional formatting to help analyze a trading strategy. In this video, I will be showing you how you can use conditional formatting to help make your trading analysis more intuitive, to make it easier to spot patterns and easier to analyze your strategies. I would like to remind you that if you enjoy this video, please hit the like button. If you want to see more content like this, please subscribe and please let me know in the comments below what other videos you would like to see me record. On the screen at the moment, I have a spreadsheet that I created for a recent video on the Connors RSI. Now, Connor's RSI is a great little indicator, and if you want to check out the video, there is a link on the screen at the moment. What I want to draw your attention to is this column here, where we're using a contrast between greens and reds. Now, the formula is not important. What is important is that you can see how I've used conditional formatting to create a contrast. So we can instinctively or instantly see when a change of trend has occurred. Now we can use this for all sorts of indicators and I'm going to give an example here for this normal RSI here. Quite commonly we see the values 30 and 70 applied for RSI overbought and oversold. And one of the ways that we can use conditional formatting is to create a formula. Let's go in here to do it. We're going to use a formula to determine which cells to format. And we're going to click in here and we're going to say equals if this cell, note that I'm taking off the dollar symbols here because we want this cell to move. If it is greater than this value here, and I'm going to keep the dollar symbols off here, then we're going to want a format. And if you can click in here, you can see we have got quite a number of different formats we can use. Now, most of us don't really think about using this sort of stuff, but we can do. I generally tend to default to fill because it gives us colors, and colors are the most instinctive and quick to recognize thing. But we can use lots of different things. If you don't want to use anything, you can always set up a automatic color. Now, because we're going into an overbought zone, I'm thinking maybe we'll go for a red color. Okay, so if this cell is greater than our overbought level, we want to format it. Copy that down. So you can see we've gone to a very bright red to show us when we're in an overbought level. Well, let's create another one that's going to have a look at, again, we're going to use a formula to determine which cells to format. I'm going to put in equals. This cell, take away those dollar symbols. This time I'm going to put it is lower than this. And as we're going to say it's been oversold, let's put a green in there. Okay, so we can see now that we have greens and reds and everything in between. And we can just go along a column here, a row here, and we see that we've got two greens, so we may have potentially have an entry point. So we've got two different forms of conditional formatting. Now, in this column here, I've got the daily return, and I thought, what about if we use color scales? And this is another way that we can use conditional formatting. So I've highlighted all these cells and I'm going to go back in here and I'm going to look at color, color scales. And there's different options. Some of them, let's take the background color off. And then we can see them a bit more clearly. See what else we might like. Okay. 
you want something that is going to stand out for you. So we've got a minus here, we've got a big positive here, a 13.8% jump. And we can see that this corresponds to a one day streak and a rather high value of the RSI. We can have a look at how I calculated the streak conditional formatting. If I just highlight this column, we can clear the rules from the selected cells. So for this one, we can just use a built in conditional format. And I'm simply going to highlight here the rules greater than zero. Choose my color. And if we're less than zero, choose a contrasting color. Highlight these down. So we've got three different ways that we can use conditional formatting when looking at our indicators. Now I'm going to have a look at volume over here. Highlight all the values here and I think I might use another color scale here and we can pick out the big numbers. Just scrolling down we can pick out the, the big numbers. So we've got, this is alphabet here, Google. We can see we've got 10, 11 million. We'll see the very big values. So let's have a look at how we can combine simple testing of a trading strategy and we can take the advantage of conditional formatting. So we've got Connor's RSI here, a very neat little indicator. And if I put in my trading conditions here and I'm going to say if Connor's is current value is greater than our reference value, we press F4 here. Our previous value of Connors was lower than this value, but we want it to be greater than zero. Then we trade long. And it's just going to be the text that we used to signify that we're entering a long trade. Copy this down. We scroll down. We can see there are a few examples here. But how might we want to use volume in here? Well, it depends the sort of analysis you're doing, but what we could do is say, introduce another set of conditionals and I will copy all this again to here. So I have all this lot plus something else, plus the volume must be greater than another value which I might want to experiment with. And don't forget that if we include a new condition here, we have to include the opposite here. Now we're going to say trade long high volume. And if neither of these are true, then we shall do nothing. Okay, so we've got high volume. Let's change this, make it a bit tougher. And if we can scroll down here, let's make it a bit softer. We're just playing with the the numbers here and we can see we've got one triggering there. Now again we can use, because we're just trying to figure out what works, we're using the conditional formatting on the indicators then we're using conditional formatting in our trade criteria, find out what works to see if it makes logical sense. We can carry out all the analysis we want but if it doesn't make logical sense it's probably not going to last. It's probably just a random series of values in the market that come up all the time. So now what we can do is look 
conditional formatting and let's tell it to look for text of volume. We'll give it a custom format and we'll use yellow because that's a nice color and it stands out. And we copy it down here and we can see that we've got trade long high volume every time we see it there and it's easy to pick out and as we add in the numbers we add in further conditions we can use different trade entry conditions for when we're just trading long and when there is high volume if you'd like more help with using excel to backtest trading strategies Go to tradeinform.com. We have spreadsheets there which will make your backtesting much easier. You don't need to work things out from first principles and you can have a format that will help you test different types of stops, different types of targets, different amounts of leverage and how this affects your trading strategy. If you like this video, please hit the like button if you would like more content like this please remember to subscribe if you like to see something else you'd like to see me record a different video comment below and for more information about trading the financial markets please go to www.tradeinformed.com